activate the auto control settings to operate the three point linkage, you'll see the red light is on just now. If you flick the rocker switch to the left and then back, that puts out the red light and you can now activate the dial. So if you were operating a plough for example, that's the minor adjustments you'd make on the armrest the right hand side there. You can see the lights going up and down as we're lifting and lowering the implement. Looking at the controls at the right hand side now, because the auto control is now activated, this means the first one is your drop rate speed, the second one is your maximum height, we've then got position and draft, and your suspension is the last one. In the back end of the tractor, again we're looking at the three point linkage and all the different adjustments. Once you're connected, ensure everyone's connected safely before you head off. And whilst you're adjusting the top link, always make sure you turn the centre barrel. Once your pin's located, make sure all your lynch pins are secure. Double check, just giving everything a, a tighten up again. You'll see the threads at either end of the, th the top link uh, are in equal length. So there should, should be the same amount of threads showing either side of the uh, top link. And it's now locked back in there securely. All PTO shafts should be well guarded and you can see the chains in place there to stop the guard actually rotating as well. Make sure your stabilising arms are locked in position as well and this stops the implement at the back swaying around.